What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm finally playing a Kyogre team. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been avoiding this thing. Uh, and it's mostly because I don't trust Origin Pulse. Uh, but it does have Water Spout, so there's, there's things you can do. Basically, the plan with this team is put in Kyogre next to Tornadus, it's a max speed Kyogre, and then just click Tailwind and click Water Spout and delete both of your opponent's Pokémon. Now, if for some reason that doesn't work, and that will work a lot, uh, you've got Chiyu to make it even more powerful. You've got Farigarath to block priority moves coming at Kyogre, trying to weaken its Water Spout or flinch it with Fake Out. You've got Rillaboom, who's just a really good Pokémon. So good that it doesn't like even need to be EV trained sometimes. We'll get to that. And Archaladon, who is, loves the rain. Archaladon Pelipper used to be a thing, well now it's Archaladon Kyogre. It's awesome. Uh, so I do have to say, when I was about to use this team, I noticed that the Rillaboom wasn't EV trained. So I contacted Evan and let him know and he made a new rental code. And I was super thrilled, so I grabbed it right away, I ran to my Switch, and I started playing some games for y'all. And then I realized I was still using the old rental code. So the first couple matches with this team uh, will have slight subtle differences. The Kyogre will be Terra Water for two games, and the Rillaboom won't be Eevee trained for the first two games. Uh, but after that, I finally realize, and I get the real rental code, which is on your screen right now. You don't have to worry about anything. Uh, but anyways, if you're excited to see Kyogre, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, we've got a Terrapagos matchup, so they can turn off the rain. Uh, they also have a Trick Room Core with Ferrigarath Blood Moon, they have Incineroar, they have Whimsicott, and Fluttermane. Not a whole lot there promotes setting up other than the Fake Out, so I'm thinking this might be an offensive Terrapagos, where they just go, like, turn one. Uh, in that case, it would be my interest to have my Assault Vest user. I could go a Trick Room route. That would mess them up if they were to lead Whimsicott, but I don't think that's the way. And I think I want to put Kyogre in the back so I can get the rain up. Uh, so I think I want to go with Tornadus. And maybe Archaladon on lead. Or Chiyu. Chiyu has Snarl. Yeah, I like Chiyu. I like Tornadus Chiyu. I can Snarl down pretty much all of that team. Then I can bring in Kyogre for sweeping. And the biggest problem would then be, I guess if they go Trick Room and then the Bear. So I could have my own Farigarath. They don't have a lot of priority. I think Assault Vest Archaladon is the way just because it can probably take a hit from Terrapagos. And then if I get the rain up, which I'm, I've got a few ways to keep the rain up, then Electroshot can do a lot to pretty much everything, except the bear. The bear is going to be the main problem. Ooh! Well done with that trainer card. You got effects and everything. But you got those shoes on, what is that? Okay, Whimsicott Terrapagos. Sounds good. I will match your Tailwind, and I will Snarl. I'm cool with that. And then if you are actually a Calm Mind variant, I'll be surprised. Because the Calm Mind variants often, if they're not holding leftovers, they'll often carry a Clear Amulet or a Covert Cloak, which blocks the Snarl drops. But I'm happy to just Tailwind Snarl for now. I don't feel like I need to stagger my Tailwind because of the threat of Encore from Whimsicott. So if I click some other move, they may lock me into not Tailwinding. I'm not Terra Dark or anything that can stop that, so. Uh, yeah, they're going for a Terra Turn 1. It has to be Terrapagos. That means they're an offensive bird. Cool. I am happy to see that, honestly, because now I'll actually do real damage with Snarl. Well, no, not real damage. And to protect- oh, they're gonna stagger their Tailwind. That's cool. That's fine with me, though, because, like, even if you do, Chiyu is just faster. So whatever. I can just throw Bleak Winds and Snarls all I want. Yeah, we get the drop. 
Oh, and they earth power the Chi Yu. All right. It's your prerogative, I guess. Uh, you could swap out to like Incineroar or something, but I don't really care. I'm gonna Bleak Wind. And I'm gonna click another Snarl. Why not? I kinda wanna get Whimsicott out of here so that I can lock in speed control later. I may even be willing to sack something. Alright, is this just Incineroar? Because if so, these hits are going after Whimsicott anyway. It's Blood Moon? Really? Okay. I'm happy to put a drop on that. And you're attacking with Whimsicott, which means I could knock it out. Yeah, that's incredible. And a speed drop on the bear. I don't think I needed that. Never got up Tailwind. Yeah, that's going to be hard for you to come back from. Uh, they could have Vacuum Wave on the bear. That would put them in a better position here. And I can't even Terra out of that because they could hit ghosts with their ability. And they don't know I didn't bring Farigaraf, but I didn't bring Farigaraf. Alright, uh, show me what you got. I kind of want to see who your last is because... Oh, it's Fluttermane. Okay. Is it Speed Booster? Or is it Special Attack Booster? It is Speed Booster. So let me check my speeds. You're going, you could be faster than Chi Yu under Tailwind. Wow, that's insane. If they're max speed, they're faster than Chi Yu. And how are we doing on Tailwind? Two whole turns? Kyogre, I know, is faster. I kind of am okay with letting something drop here. Maybe I should let Chi Yu drop. No sense in letting them both go. And if they're not faster, or they don't have Vacuum Wave, yeah, there's the Vacuum Wave. Makes sense. Goodbye, Chi Yu. There was nothing you could have done about that. And then just a Moon Blast. So we don't actually know the Flutter Main speed, but it doesn't matter, because we know Kyogre will be faster. We have the pin. Uh, I guess they could be... No, they're not going to get around this with Terra. Vacuum Wave could weaken the Water Spout, and they could be a really bulky Fluttermane. But I don't think they have much way around this. I'm going to... I'm wondering if I want to Terrastalize Tornadus to try to take whatever Fluttermane has, just in case it somehow survives. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And just click Water Spout. I think the positioning we have is perfect. I, I can't think of anything better. They would need to have a super bulky Fluttermane to live this water spout. Yeah, they just protect it. That makes sense. Get out of the Tailwind. But then I can just set Tailwind again, and what are you going to do about it? You lost your Whimsicott too early. Goodbye, Bear. Things are looking good for Kyogre. And yeah, you block the Bleak Wind and you block the Water Spout, but whatever. This game's locked up. I just have to click the right buttons every turn. Which is this turn. I don't think we're getting past this turn. Uh, could Terrapagos survive? Maybe. It's not going to KO both of these. Yeah, I need to Tailwind and Water Spout again. But because Kyogre is max speed, it's faster than any speed booster Fluttermane. So I really like Timid Kyogre, because it needs to be Timid to be faster than that. Okay, Terrapagos does hang on. Good for you, Terrapagos. I can Ice Beam you. Right? And yeah, you're going to take out Torn, probably. I would assume. But you don't even do half to Kyogre. You would have needed a crit. Or for me to have Terra'd Kyogre, which I didn't have any reason to. I barely had a reason to Terra Tornadus. 
but I'm perfectly happy to let our Chaladon come in here and finish up the game that way. Our Chaladon the Sociable at that. The shiny our Chaladon the so Sociable, nice. Electro Shot, Water Spout, good game. Battle was cancelled. Alright! Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about this fish right now. And that's a cool card still. Alright, can Kyogre be the win button here? Well, they also have a Kyogre, so maybe? Uh, they have what looks like it's probably a Water Urshifu, they have their own Torn, they have their own Rillaboom. What we have that they don't have is Ferrigorath. We might be able to do something with that. So I like Kyogre and Tornadus just to match their speed control and then start blowing stuff up that isn't Kyogre. And then obviously use Rillaboom, because Rillaboom should be able to beat their Kyogre. Uh, we'll have to focus down the Tornadus, which is fine. Uh, and then having Ferrigorath seems good. But I also want Archaladon in this matchup. Oh. I don't really have... Hmm. What's the speed stat on this Rillaboom? Rillaboom is typically 105. No one... Oh. Okay. Let me see. I guess I won't bring the, uh, Rillaboom. <laughs> I will bring the other four. Uh, and I'm gonna have a little talk with Evan about that. Okay. Here we go. Uh, that, I'm a little distracted now. Okay, that's a cool trainer card. That's a cool trainer card. <laughs> Is this Rillaboom not EV trained? Okay. Tornadus Fluttermane versus Tornadus Kyogre. Well, yeah. You can get your speed control up and I can in deny me mine. Um, I can take any hit you want to throw, really. I guess you're probably Specs. Wait, is it Terra Water? Oh, I have the wrong rental code! Oh! Well then, that explains that. Okay. I'm gonna click Origin Pulse. And I'm just gonna match Tailwind. And then I'm probably in trouble. So if I connect this Origin Pulse, I should do a ton of damage. Oh, that doesn't do that bad. I probably cl could have clicked Water Spout that turn. And Fluttermane dodges, of course. Tornadus is sad. Fine. I am happy to just protect, and no, because they'll double, they'll bleak wind, and they will use their wa their fairy move. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, I could Terra, I could Terra, Tornadus here. <laughs> protect Kyogre, Terra, bleak wind storm, and then take both of these hits breezily. Yeah, I downloaded the right rental coat. But I also had the other rental code downloaded previously. And then when I went into play, I clicked the wrong one, just assuming it was the right one, because it looked the same. <laughs> so this is not the right rental code. Um, I'm gonna make sure to show you guys the right one at the end of this. <laughs> and at the beginning. Uh, okay. Hopefully that doesn't, uh, cause any problems. Alright, they bleak wind. What would be really huge here is if I get a speed drop on the Fluttermane. Good, Tornadus hangs on. Awesome. Speed drop on Fluttermane, please. I'll love you forever, Tornadus. I don't see a speed drop on Fluttermane. Yeah, no, mm, that didn't happen. Okay, good, it's Rillaboom. Just Rillaboom. We have answers to Rillaboom. I will Origin Pulse just to hit the Fluttermane and switch into, no, not our challenge, into Furigraph to block the uh, Fake Out or Grassy Glide, if they're even going for that. Hopefully they go for something like that. If they just click Wood Hammer, 
I mean, I'll still get the pulse off, but then Kyogre's gone. Oh, yes, it's Glide. Perfect. Now, hit the Fluttermane this time, Kyogre. I believe in you. Yeah! Boom! Bye, Fluttermane! Nice playing with you! Alright, we got Kyogre, they got their Rillaboom, we are faster. Rillaboom's faster than Farigraph. Okay, all those speed tiers make sense. No shenanigans going on. And now it's their Kyogre. I feel like our Chaladon is in a good position. And it's possibly faster than Rillaboom. It should be slower than a Kyogre. Hopefully... I don't know what the right button to click is with Kyogre. I think I'm going to Origin Pulse and Protect. Because Farigraph is definitely going down. And I can get another Tailwind up. Uh, maybe I should just Protect then. No. Origin Pulse. And I didn't have time to lock in a Farigraph move. So hopefully it's something good. <laughs> Alright, I got the damage on Kyogre first. That's great. Uh, Farigraph might still just go down to this. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly okay. Because we'll get our Chaladon and Tornadus in. That's probably better than leaving Farigraph on the field. I just didn't want to swap out for Rigoraph because then if they had maybe read that for some reason and gone for Glide, and I didn't want to protect Kyogre because then Rillaboom could Glide if they took out the Farigoraph. So as much as I wanted to try to go Trick Room, I can just... Oh no, I can't just go the Tailwind route because they could Grassy Glide my Tornadus here. Okay, whatever. I can still try to click Tailwind. And also, your Kyogre isn't uh, max speed. Or ours is just faster. Or won the speed tie, if you are max speed. So it's possible our Chaladon's just faster than you. Though it's not likely. Uh, they did not use Terra yet. And I feel like there's no reason not to on Kyogre. I do want to Electroshot the Kyogre. And maybe protect Tornadus? I do get some grassy healing. Oh, rain's about to end. That's good. Electroshot Kyogre. Protect. Get a little grass healing. Yeah, they're going Terra. They're probably grass Terra Kyogre, if I had to guess. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, no, this match is not over. This is an annoying one, honestly. But hopefully I can get a boost, and then I guess I can Draco. And then I should be able to beat the Rillaboom eventually. Because, like, Origin Pulse here will hurt. Oh, it's Ice Beam? Well, it's not so bad. A critical hit Ice Beam is pretty bad. But the grass is still here to help me out a little bit. And yeah, you'll take this Electroshot, no problem. But you didn't take out Tornadus. So you're gonna have to commit another move into that. Which now may not be enough. Rain is gone, that's good. Kyogre is faster than Tornadus. Good to know. But Tornadus is faster than Rillaboom. So what I need to do here... I have stamina, right? Yeah, I have a defense boost. I need to Draco Meteor the Kyogre. And throw out a Bleak Windstorm. Because if they somehow don't get the KO... No, they do. Okay. So I'm going to have to take one hit from Kyogre, and then connect to Draco, and then Body Crest should KO the Rillaboom, who we already know our Chaladon was faster than. So we just take this Ice Team. This one doesn't crit, thankfully. Give us another stamina boost, and then connect to Draco Meteor. Yes! Okay. Good. Kyogre's gone. 
Soon the grass will be gone, and the grass is actually helping me more than it's helping them. But I do get the tick of healing here. Wait, no, they're faster? Was this a speed tie? Or did I have the turn order wrong? Hmm. Okay, I may have had the turn order backward. But anyway... I am at plus two defense, bound, about to be at plus three defense. I will body press. That should KO Rillaboom from there. High horsepower, unless that crits. It does not. Thank you. That did do a lot of damage, though. Rillaboom's a strong Pokemon. Well, goodbye, Rilla. Hey, hey. Good job, Archaladon. I'm proud of you. All right, now let me go and get the right rental code. All right, here we go. We've got a sun team. Let's check this rental. Okay, this is grass now. And this Rillaboom. <laughs> okay, now it's trained. Good. All right, we have a real Rillaboom and probably not going to use it in this match. All right, um, Kyogre, Tor oh, they have Torkoal and Koridon. But I mean, what do they have that beats Kyogre Tornadus? Or do I even want Kyogre Tornadus? Do I want Chiyu Tornadus? Do I want Ferrigraph Trick Room? Definitely not, they've got a Torkoal. Uh, I think I'd be happy with Kyogre Tornadus lead. Set Rain Dance. Water Spout something. My biggest fear there would be the Fluttermane? Ferrigraph has Trick Room, but it doesn't have Imprison, so it's not gonna... Do much there. Chiyu with a Sash is nice. Chiyu can hit a lot of those really hard. And then actually Rillaboom ain't bad. Archeladon ain't bad either, but Koridon could be an issue. We have better speed control than them. And Archeladon is fast enough in Tailwind. I think I can give Archeladon a try. I'll just make sure not to click Electro Shot when they're about to change uh, the weather on me. <laughs> Okay. Oh, nice. Good character there. Everyone likes her and the other guy, but what's your opinion? Let me know in the comments which one of those characters you like. Sada or Turo? Alright, they go ahead and they lead with double dra- They're slower? They're slower than Kyogre? What is that? What is that? How is that possible? How do they have a Koridon that's slower than Kyogre? In what universe does that make any sense? I'm gonna Water Spout and I'm gonna Rain Dance. Because apparently my Kyogre is already faster than your Koridon. What? Yeah, I'm just gonna click the buttons and see what happens. They're gonna Terra. There's no Terra you have that makes this better for you. Like, that's either gonna still resist water or be... Okay, it's neutral to water now. Cool. Unless you, like, Draco my Kyogre to weaken the water spout, you're in trouble. Which you could just do that. Like, I assume Walking Wake is faster than Kyogre. They Hydro Steam into Tornadus, that's fine. I'll, I'll give you Tornadus to get this full power water spout off. What the heck is going on here? Slow ride on? Bop! Good. Took that pretty well, too. Yeah, they're trained in bulk. And they U turn the Kyogre, fine. Alright, they can get their weather back up now. They may just send in Torkoal here. Yeah, like, okay. That might be okay. Who do I want to bring in here? Chi, you ain't bad with like snarl. I am slower than 
the walking wake, so I would use my sash in that case. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. Because if I bring in Chiyu, Kyogre could go down. Uh, maybe I'll just bring in... Archaladon. The real threat there, though, is... They could swap one slot into Koridon. And the Koridon slot would take a Draco Meteor really well. What's my Terra here, Fairy? That's pretty cool. Might want to burn that when Koridon comes in. <clears throat> Maybe I'll burn it now. I'm just trying to take out Wake. Oh, Wake is the swap. Into <laughs> Koridon, of course. Of course it is. Uh, I knew one of them was going to do that, but I wasn't willing to commit a flash cannon into Walking Wake to test my theory. Well, at least I'm Terra Fairy. But... If they just clicked Eruption, I'm in trouble. Because I'm going to take a lot of damage from an Eruption. And they're going to take no Oh, just Protect! Thank you! That's the best it could be. Alright, um, do I want to swap in Chiyu here? I mean, I'm faster than Koridon. I could- should just Origin Pulse. Neither of those will take Origin Pulse comfortably. Maybe I can follow it up with a Draco into the Torkoal slot. Mm. Okay, Origin Pulse double connects. I don't think Koridon goes down. Oh! And I crit the Torkoal. Which is good. Hopefully they U-turned and I go after them. It's Collision Course. No! Once again, blocking. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's really annoying. I should have clicked any other move. All right, let's bring in the Chiyu. Which should bait in a lot of attacks to it. And they've got Venusaur, okay. How much sun is even left? And also, Chiyu should be faster than Koridon, actually. Uh, maybe, because this one's 156, this is 152. They're pretty close together. 30 seconds. Sun has two turns. I think they're definitely going to target Chiyu. And so I'll throw a flash cannon at Koridon, right? Because I think you would want to collision course here. And if I can take that out, that'd be beautiful. Sludge bomb into Archaladon. KOs! Thanks a lot, Chiyu. Uh, in that case, there was no way to win this, because... Okay, Venusaur's Life Orb. My win condition is a double protect. Because we know Walking Wake should be faster than Chiyu, so that's gonna get a hit in. Venusaur is faster than Chiyu in the sun. That's gonna get a hit in. Koridon might be slower. I don't know why it's slower. It really shouldn't be, you know? But... My win con is they're slower than Chiyu, which seems unlikely, even though they were slower than Kyogre. And I get a double protect. Getting rid of Sun. I don't get the double protect. Okay, they take this win. <laughs> that was... That was a weird match. If I'm being honest. I, I'm not gonna get to see the speed tier now. That was a weird match. If I had just taken out Koridon with a flash cannon that other turn... I didn't expect Torkoal to go down. That crit was huge. You somehow bad for me, and huge, but huge nonetheless. <laughs> Good game. Alright, now we've got... Uh, it's a Kyogre! 
I think I recognize this Kyogre team. It's got Regieleki with Life Orb. It's got a relatively slow Blood Moon or Saluna. I think that's Dark Urshifu with Choice Band. Very scary team. Oh my goodness. And it specs Kyogre with Terra Water, I believe. So that's terrifying. I'm terrified of everything there. Our Chaladon seems pretty good. Until Kyogre just blows it up anyway. <laughs> Which could happen. Uh, how much special defense investment do we got? A good amount. 181, 100. That'd be 150 with the thing. That could be enough. I think that's a good enough threat that I need to lead our Chaladon. Um... Our Chaladon Kyogre? Because Kyogre could be threatened by Regieleki. But I could get around that with Terra. Then I wouldn't have much of a response to Urshifu. Oh, I have no responses to Urshifu. I guess set Tailwind, but if they have Tailwind up too... I really don't have a response. I guess uh, Rillaboom isn't bad. Overall, Rillaboom's good. I just have to be careful about when I click the priority move. And then I guess I need Tornadus. Since I'm bringing it in the back, I can, I'll can i stagger it. I'll try to take out their Tornadus. And then get my Tailwind up for the late game. If I can make it to the late game. That's a cool trainer card. But if... Yeah, because if there's Specs Kyogre, there might not be a late game. I might be gone in three turns. Oh yeah, it's Torn Urshifu. Great. Fantastic. I'm in so much trouble. Alright. You're about to obliterate one of these. And there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> All right, who wants to get obliterated? Uh, I'm gonna Electroshot your Tornadus. And throw an Origin Pulse. Tornadus Protect! All right, hopefully I can live a Wicked Blow. I can live a Wicked Blow! Let's go! Let's go, Kyogre, you're the best! Get rid of that Urshifu! Yeah! I'll take that trade. I will take that trade. I get plus one on my Archaladon. I basically lose Kyogre, but whatever. Kyogre can protect now, too. Because you, you know they're going to have to throw a move at it. But I could see this now being Terra Water, Water Spout, plus Bleak Wind. If I recall, it was Focus Sash Tornadus with max speed, so they would be faster than my Kyogre. Yep, there's their Kyogre. So they could Bleak Wind and then single target Water Spout. I think that's their play. My best chance at living that is to not let Water Spout be single target, so I just protect Kyogre. That way the Bleak Wind and the Water Spout are both spread moves. Cause they want yeah, they want to knock out Kyogre. I don't know if I can take that. That's a lot of damage. Terra Water, Choice Specs, Water Spout in the rain. Plus a max special attack, Bleak Windstorm, Tornadus. If our Chaladon lives this, we can win the What happened? I know they're switching out Kyogre. Did I call them on something? What happened? All right, we're back. Just gonna let you know, they disconnected in that last one. It wasn't me. And they didn't even go for the water spout. So I assume uh, that their switch was ahead of mine. They saw what happened. Maybe they made a bad switch uh, and got destroyed. So I'm gonna count that as a W. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm Jordy and uh, all right, peace.